I'm back. Um, happy 2019. Hope you guys had a good new year. I didn't really do anything, but that's fine. I'm a big fan of chilling and staying home. Big homebody. Finals vlogs are over. Finals have been done for a while, but the vlogs are finally now done. And I haven't filmed any vlogs yet. This is, it's Wednesday. Um, third day classes. I haven't filmed anything yet. I haven't done anything. It's pretty much what you would expect at the beginning of a new semester. I don't really have anything. And the semester is like just really slow in general. And I go, I start really early and end really late. So I just come home and like eat and go to sleep. Today's video is going to be my first requested video. You know who you are. That was how do I use my iPad to take notes and do school. Um, so basically I don't know what I'm saying. I have the flashes on cause the lighting's so awful. And so I'm, I, the flashes in my eyes and then I look away and I can't see and I have these notes here about what I want to say and I can't read them. So yeah, that was a requested video, but I actually used to watch these videos like all the time, like study, just writing notes. I'm like a big fan of how wanting to know what people do. So, I have the 9.7 inch iPad Pro with the old Apple Pencil. I don't think they make this size anymore. I think the smallest one they make now is 10 something. Can't remember, if I look it up, I'll put it somewhere. But this is the one I have, Space Gray. I'm a tried and true Space Gray gal. Um, this is Space Gray, my laptop is Space Gray. All my phones used to be Space Gray, but then Product Red came out with a black front I pretty much started using <clears throat> just an iPad in general to take notes like way before like the iPad pencil and iPad Pro even came out. I used to use an iPad. Was it a mini iPad? What else did they have? I had the OG. Oh my gosh. I had the very first. I literally still have it. Oh, I wish I could have it. It's at my house um, back at home. I literally have the original iPad. I was that girl. Oh man. Oh, and then because I guess I've never really said this either. Could you tell maybe? I don't know. Big Apple sheep. Shout out I Justine. She's a fellow Pittsburgher, fellow Apple lover. Boy, I'm too deep into the ecosystem at this point in my life to ever not be. So yeah, boy, when that first iPad came out, I think I like used all my Christmas money because I was like, I mean this iPad. And I don't even know. Let's look that up. When did the first iPad came out? 2010. Oh my God. Well, that's nine years ago now. That is just stupid. I was 15. I was 15 years old. What even grade is that? What did I need an iPad for? Oh, I'm such a joke. Anyway, I started using it for school in undergrad, but that was before you could even, like the Apple Pencil and iPad Pro wasn't a thing yet. So I had to use, oh gosh, what was it? You could either use the ones that like weren't Bluetooth or you could use the ones I got the Adonit, Adonit Jot Plus, Adonit, Adonit Pixel. Oh, was that it actually? Something, I'll put a picture somewhere. I'm not gonna do the whole video here because that would be stupid. So we are going to go over to the desk. We'll get a nice little shot set up and then I'll show you how I use it and uh, all the apps I use. App, -uh. and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I wanna do pros and cons list. So I'm gonna do that because I, okay. But other than that, let's head over to the desk. Whoop. And we're back at the desk. Um. Here, we're gonna just look at my setup real quick. Nothing fancy, so don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> um, I have my calendar, clock, photos, camera, which I don't even use on my iPad. Notes, app store, books, mail, school, Google, cause we use a lot of Google Drive, Google, all that jazz. Video, YouTube, Netflix, all that jazz. And all the random stuff that I don't wanna see. So I put it in this random folder but we're gonna go to school cause that's what we're here for. So this is the school folder. It has basically all the stuff I would need. I have OneNote, which is the app I use now. Word, because sometimes professors upload stuff as Word documents. It's annoying and I have to convert all of that jazz. Good Notes, that's the app I used to use. Quizlet, love Quizlet. If you don't have Quizlet, get it. Quizlet sponsor me. And then I have Blackboard, which is just what Pitt uses. See all my assignments and all that stuff that I don't care about. Duo Mobile. 
even more stupid, that's like, I don't know if everywhere else has this, but it's like the multi-factor authentication thing. It's stupid, I don't care. Um, calculator and then voice memos because sometimes I record lectures. So let's just dive right into OneNote. Looks a little bit messy now. I haven't gotten rid of, this is all this, 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 this. Anatomy and physiology, oh my gosh, that's from P1 year. Oh man, we're just going down memory lane, aren't we? Anyway, so my classes now are drug development, GI, um, okay, infectious disease too, and drug lit analysis. So most of this new stuff, I won't have much stuff in just because I most, like, look, this is like an introduction, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll probably show you more of how, oh, idea took some notes. <laughs> Everyone knows how much I love ID. So I'm just gonna show you how I basically set it all up. So to get everything into OneNote, you have to convert everything to a PDF, which is fine. I don't care. Small PDF, a com or whatever is the best converting website ever. I can convert literally anything to anything. But what I usually do once I convert everything, like all the PowerPoints or whatever, is I insert them into OneNote and then it comes up like this. But so what I like to do is basically have the PowerPoint on one side and all this blank space on the other side. More so for lectures where they talk a lot. This professor talks a lot, but a lot of it is already on the slide, so I don't really have to. So nine times out of 10 for his class, I'll just go like this and like, you can see, I just like write on these slides. But for something like, let's see, let's go back. Okay, so for like this, I was taking notes on my computer and it's kind of the same deal. I had the presentation, the PDF on the one side and I was typing on the other side because I was feeling lazy that day. But I just like it because it's a nice setup. You can see this and you can see that. And one thing I really like about, at least on the computer, is you can like zoom out indefinitely, like it never ends. Is that indefinitely or infinite, in, infinitely, infinitely? Whatever. On the iPad you can't, but that's still fine. But um, on the computer, you can pretty much zoom out forever. But what I usually do, <sighs> stroke, I think I did that. Okay, yeah. So I had my, this was me in class. I had my PowerPoint on the one side. I was typing on the other. And then because I like to write things out, what I'll do is I'll go back and I will, where did I write all that stuff? I will go back and write out everything. So basically all this written out stuff is a summary of what all this is. And I love having it all in one place. So I don't have to go through like, okay, like I have to open up a PowerPoint and then a Word document and then like another separate app where I like write everything out. So that's usually what I end up doing. Let's see if I can find another one. Pharmacokinetics was a lot of math and stuff. So this was about drum roll. First pass metabolism and biliary transport. So this was a lot of things, a lot of numbers and stuff like that and equations. So what I like being able to do is write on all these and like do math and numbers. Let's see what else. I don't even know what that means. So that's pretty much how I set up my, oh, what's this? Oh, old exams. Um, my ID professor posts all his old exams. So this was me trying to go through a bunch of them. And so I would write, the way he does his exams are you have four options and you have to pick which one is false. So I was going through and figuring out which ones are false and why everything else was true and blah, blah, blah. And that was a funny thing I wrote because I didn't want to study anymore. It's on my Twitter though, if you actually want to see it. So that's pretty much how I do one note and it's nice because you can have everything organized and like i said i do like exam one exam two and then everything that falls under exam three was right here and everything that fell under exam two was right here everything that was for my final was right here so it was great oh what was i writing oh i think this was the day of i was trying to remember all my doses <laughs> that's what happens if you get rejection of a transplant <laughs> so basically that's how i use one note so let's switch over to good old Good old good notes. So this is another app. I think I had to pay for this one. Honestly, don't remember. It was a long time ago. But this is what I used to use in like undergrad. Like I have Cell Bio. I used that a lot for Cell Bio. Oh yeah, I took lots of notes with that. Good notes, kind of the same idea. You know, you have your folders and your categories, whatever, whatnot. So basically these ones, you do the same thing. You can upload PDFs and all that jazz. You can write on everything. The only thing, I didn't like, and of course now it's gone probably because I like updated my iPad or like the app or something. I don't know. It used to be so laggy. So like my, all my self care stuff is in here. And when we had exams, we could use our notes. And so I would try to pull things up really quick and I'd be like, eh, it's still loading. I don't know what's happening, but it's like kind of fine now. But like, see, I don't know, like, see, maybe I'm right. Another thing 
you can get this on your computer so it can kind of you can everything can sync up but it's a lot harder to sync because i don't actually know how in OneNote you just say like sync this notebook and it syncs but good notes isn't that straightforward and it always used to crash on my laptop so like on this one that pink writing is me typing on my computer but sometimes when I'm typing on my computer, it would just crash. And I would be like, well, that's unfortunate. So that used to happen. I pretty much got sick of that. So I switched to OneNote. And so far I like this switch. This one has like all this stuff and you have colors and all that jazz. OneNote, you have all this stuff, do all these colors and you can do all these colors and whatever. And you let's do pros and cons. Well, we'll do good note in purple just because it's so we'll do good notes and then what color is oh i was doing that so backwards that's one note oh my oh no one note is it capital n i don't know and then good notes will be this blue i don't care good notes lovely so we'll do pros and green and cons and red i have a list over here so let's see if i can do it pros i have syncing ability and like i said it's easy especially on here too you just go over and you do this and that little doodad means syncing but there's nothing to sync so nothing's gonna happen but it's easy another pro i have is layout i just like this whole shtick more than this whole shtick that's just personal preference, so it doesn't really matter. That's just me. I also have, oh, I said the weird space thing. So the amount of space slash zoom. So like I said, on the computer, you can infinitely zoom out. So that comes in handy. Good notes, you can't really, like, I want to show you one where I like was like crammed for space. This one, like you can't zoom out anymore. So you just kind of like run out of like space to write. So I like that you can zoom out on one note. Did I really write, what does that mean? organ oh organization wow <laughs> organization i caramba like i said i guess that goes about looks i don't know i feel more organized in one note and everything's kind of together more that's just again my personal preference so let's go to cons i'm gonna start off with printing but printing is just subjective to mac users so microsoft if you're listening if you're watching this video, please let me be able to print without it looking so terrible and everything just coming out wonky. But it's maybe print less, so I guess I'm saving the trees. I don't know. Um, but I think if you have like Microsoft or whatever, like a PC or something, it'll work. So kudos to you. I'm jealous. But like I said, it's made me print less, so that's, that's something, right? And then the other one I have is the search ability. So you can search in OneNote, but all it searches through or anything you would find would just be in stuff that you typed. So if I searched for search, you like wouldn't find it, which is annoying. Like, so if I type search, that's not how you spell it. Like it's all gonna be stuff if I click that. It's just like stuff that's typed out and stuff like that. So it's not actually, it's not anything I would write. And that's probably where I would give good notes the upper hand. So I will go over to good notes. What do I have? Pros. Oh, the writing window. This is again, something I've gotten used to. So in GoodNote, you have this fun thing where it like zooms in and you can like, you can write really small and it's like even smaller. So that's nice. But I again, got used to not having it. So I'm not that mad about it, but it's still nice to have. And then something else that I have to, like I said, I would give to good notes is the, the searchability, I guess I would say. So let's try and find something I wrote somewhere. Okay, here we go. So let's look for paper when you search it. And it searches, searches, searches. Oh, see, look, it found the one I wrote, which is nice. But like I said, oh, I've gotten used to not having it. Oh, I guess I could say printing. So printing, you can just export these as PDFs and then just print them. And they all sell on like, that's what the difference is. Like these are like, pages where one notes kind of just like infinity so some cons i have for that laggy but maybe it's better now i don't know maybe they update it it crashed on my laptop a lot and that wasn't fun especially when i was trying to take notes <laughs> oh and then i have typing typing is a lot weirder on good notes than it is on one note one note like you can just start typing kind of anywhere and like it pops it up and like you can do like bullets and all that stuff and it like formats everything great but good notes 
kind of just makes a big text box and you just kind of have to like type in there and there's no real like bullets and things and doodads. You got your bolds and your bigger and your smaller or whatever. I always just like how OneNote did it better. But that is pretty much how I use OneNote and how I use it with my notes. I use it in conjunction with my laptop. We don't really get like our handouts are these so like you can print these out if you want. I usually either write it on my laptop. If it's more like number intensive and all that stuff I'll do my iPad. If I'm feeling lazy I'll do my laptop but more times than not when I'm studying for exams I use this because I like to write things out. Other than that I can't think of too much else to say. That's about it guys. Um, If you have any more videos I'm gonna work on, I'm trying to get my friends to get me stuff to do. I do the 10 things I wish I knew before I went to pharmacy school. So I'm trying to get stuff for that so I'm gonna try and get that. But we'll see how that goes in the meantime. This will probably be my next one Um, and then hopefully maybe I'll start doing the vlogs again and things will get a little more interesting but make sure you subscribe like and comment if you want to see more of my videos if you want to see something specific i'll see it other than that that's pretty much it and i will see you guys in my next video bye